Let's say you want to use your electronic drums to trigger the amazing realistic sounds in Easy Drummer. Most of the time, you just go to Auto MIDI Setup, MIDI Device, select Easy Drum, OK, hit a pad, and you're good to go, right? In most cases, yes. But let's say you have a custom pad set up. You want to have two crashes, but you're usually only provided with one crash, one hat, and one ride. So you sacrifice a tom pad, and instead of using all three as toms, you use a rack tom, a floor tom, and a ride cymbal. As long as you plug them in the right way, they still register just right. But this one still registers as tom one. And although you can change the sound in here and get a crash out of it, it does not translate directly into Easy Drummer. God, I'm gonna kill you! Why doesn't this thing freaking work? You're supposed to sound like this! Ah! Well, you're gonna need a few programs. The first one is called Loop B1. Go to the page, go to the side panel, click download, scroll all the way down until you see Loop B1, download your free copy, download and set up, and after that, look for eDrum MIDI Mapper. Just go to the right here, click download. And Next, open eDrum MIDI Mapper. Go to Pads, New Generic, double click, click on the three dotted button, and then it wants you to hit the pad that you want to change the trigger. So, you hit it, it picks up the note as C3, and the MIDI note that I want to change it to is A4, which triggers the second crash symbol. So you just type that in. Then you press OK, minimize it, Open up your Easy Drum again, go to Settings, Audio MIDI Setup, MIDI Device. Do not select your E-Drum, but rather select uh, Loop B Internal MIDI. Select OK. And now it's all correct. 